Hello guys, welcome to IPL Radio. This is Keeping Up With Ali and Jack. We're like the Kardashians, but way better. So much better. So much better. And there's only two of us. We don't need We don't need a whole family. I know, I'm right? Chloe and this is Courtney. And we're the Kardashians. Hey guys. Hi guys. All right, so uh, we are going to do a little bit of a callback because there, there was a bit of a gap there. I don't know if you noticed. Maybe they didn't notice. Maybe do you think they, they noticed? I reckon they noticed. Uh, you reckon? All right, well, we'll tell them what's going on. Uh, so... Uh, we did do cheap thrills because that was Jack's request. Did yep. that? It, was, it feels like a long time ago. Oh, it was. Uh, then we did. I don't like it. I love it. Uh, X's and O's, which is a song that I actually have quite a soft spot for. I, I love really that dig song, it. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Uh, El Medi, which is awesome. Nice to hear a bit of Mika on the soundtrack. So, on the Pitch Perfect Three soundtrack, but not sung by any of the cast. It was actually him. I don't know. Maybe it was playing over the credits or something. Maybe, yeah, Great song though. Okay. Interesting thing about that song though. Yeah. Right? So El Medi means she told me. Yeah. Or she tells me. One of the two. Can't yeah. remember. My French is eh, so so. It's so so. Um, but he released the same song, but in English. Yeah. Right? But just called Emily. So instead of El Medi, Emily. Yeah. Right? Clever. Um, and he completely flipped the thing around. So in, in the French version, he's talking to a girl. Yeah. Um, no, no, sorry, other way around. Uh, she tells me, right? So it's it's the story about the girl telling him to get out of the house, yeah. get off his uh, foot, and because um, <laughs> I didn't think that through, yeah. and and go and do something and enjoy life and da da da. And in the English version, he makes it him telling the girl, hmm. go out and stop living in your bubble and get out of the house and and go and be a millionaire. That's yeah, yeah, there you go. Anyway, so we flipped it around. Um, I just thought that was a nice little thing. Then they did a cover of Freedom, Ni- Freedom 90, you know, the George Michael thing, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then a franchise medal- medley. Medley. Which, like, is it a cash grab? I, I didn't understand. I didn't actually get to listen to it. I was busy doing the, the tappy taps. Yeah. But um, anyway, a franchise medley. Oh, the Freedom 90. No, franchise medley. Check it out. Look. Oh, the literal franchise medley. Literal. Oh. Yeah. I was like, freedom. Why 90. would you put that on a soundtrack? I don't know. Cash grab. Yeah, I guess so. No, wouldn't that cost them money? Oh, look, I don't know. I ain't no lawyer. Um, I do like talking like a southern one, though. We're going a bit off track here, though. A little bit, yeah. Uh, no, slap me around. Awesome guest came in early to tune his guitar, and he's all ready, so we thought we'd bring him on early so he had more time. We've got the amazing Cav Fullerton in. He's a singer, songwriter, guitarist, which is pretty cool. And he, we're going to ask him a couple questions. One of those slashes. Yeah. And he's going to play three songs for us. Now, hi, Cav. How are you going? <laughs> hey, Cav. Hey. Oh, he knows my name. He knows your name. <gasps> well, we just did say it. Do you think he'll sign something for me? Maybe. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Yeah, you get an autograph. Yeah. Maybe he'll sign his guitar and give it to you. (gasps) Yes. No, you said it on the radio now. It has to happen. Yeah, well, once you're rich and famous, once you're rich and famous, you can give him your guitar signed. You'll have enough money to buy it back from me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The price will go. Okay. (laughs) We'll negotiate later. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, good. How long have you been playing guitar? I did the um, IPL concert in uh, Rocco Shots. Yep. So yeah, yeah, so you've been here before, so you know a bit about, about the radio and how it works. Yeah. Yep. So have you ever considered going a bit further with your musical stuff, like maybe X Factor, The Voice? I have actually applied for The Voice this year. Really? That's awesome. Just to s- And then we just go wait, see if I get through or not. Yeah, that's to the awesome. Lines. Yeah. Have you done that before or anything? Um. Not really. No? <laughs> no? Fair enough. Yeah. That's really exciting. It is pretty exciting, yeah. And you never know. I, the most unlikely things can happen. Oh, wait, no, that didn't come out, right? I'm not saying it's unlikely that you win. <laughs> I'm saying that it comes out of nowhere, right? You don't I expect you. the yeah. things. Yeah. Holly, like, keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh. He's just so nervous that we've, got a fi- we've finally got someone famous. I don't know. No, I do. I get a, vi- I get a vibe. Yeah, I know. I get a vibe of future How fame. How am I like less nervous than you are right now? Usually, you're the one that's good at talking, and I'm like, ah. it's because you're putting me off. It's all this Kardashian yep. talk. It's all the Kardashian. You talk. You know what they do to my skin? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you Sorry. so self-conscious. <laughs> it does. I'm blotchy. Uh, it's fine. They're fetch all thick me anyway. Fetch me my toner. You. Ooh. Me. Was that directed at me? No. You know what? We'll talk after. 
we'll talk after. Yeah. Right. We'll have words. <laughs> but right now, we're going to let Cav get into a song. Yeah. Which one do you want to do first? Well, you've got three here. You've got. So I'm going to do um, cover, original cover. Good plan. Cover, original cover. Sure. Sounds great. All right. So um, my first one's going to be um, one of the songs I actually did a recording of. Um, this is Big Jet Plane by Angus and Julia Stone. Yep. Fantastic. No classic. Go for it. She said, Heather, mister, pleased to meet you. I want to hold her, I want to kiss her. She smelled of daisies, smelled of daisies. She drives me crazy, she drives me crazy Gonna take her for a ride on a big jet plane Gonna take her for a ride on a big jet plane My lover, my lady river But can I take you, take you higher Gonna take her for a ride on a big jet plane Gonna take her for a ride on a big jet plane. Hey. Hey. Gonna hold you, gonna kiss you in my arms. Gonna take you away from home. Gonna hold you, gonna kiss you in my arms. Gonna keep you away from home. That was fabulous. That was very that soulful. That was really good, yeah. Were you tearing up a little bit there? I feel like you were connecting with the song a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. Is there a particular reason why you connect with that song? I mean, it's it's a little before your time. Mm. Yeah. So where did you get that from? I think I got, like, all the music that I listened to, mostly from my dad. Mm -hmm. And then some music that I listened to that was back in those days. I started liking it, and then I looked for more music back in those days, and it's just my music now. And then 
I like more the slower type of songs like this too and all that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's... Um, I think it shows a level of maturity that you are seeking references outside of what you're being presented with, right? Like you're obviously we all are being bombarded constantly with what's new and current and that's great. And sifting through all of that to find the stuff that's going to last and has legs is difficult. Do you think it's uh, easier maybe having someone to show you the gold from years past, you know what I mean? Like, is your dad a big music collector? Is that what's going on? Is there just music lying all around the place? No. Um, I mean... Or is it just what he was happened to be playing? It was mostly what happened to be playing. You know, like, um, um, I was named after... Um, Lead singer of Eskimo Joe, Cap Templey. So, you know. Oh, right. Of course. Didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah. So, like, um, you know, Eskimo Joe is my favourite band. Um, I've looked up to Cap Templey. Um, I've met him a few times. Um, Same. Just, Such a sweet dude, right? Yeah. He's awesome. <laughs> um, actually did the songwriting workshop with him um, last oh, month. Oh, Impact? Down, um, down at the Rocco Youth Centre. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he gets around that guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, How was that? Did you come out with a new song uh yeah that's that's the song that i'm gonna be doing um today so oh that's awesome yeah very cool yeah so that um yeah so um got a photo with him then um did um the abc actually recorded our song there um did an interview with me um that day um too um got more photos with me and him um because, yeah, the last photo I got with him, I was like eight or something down at the State of the Arts Festival a few years back now. Oh, yeah. Um, and now I've got a recent one, so. Gosh, eight years ago. Oh. <laughs> I think it's eight years ago. Wait, about, no. Yeah, about I eight years ago. No, hang on. I'm trying to think how old I am because we're the same age. Uh, <laughs> Six. 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 Oh. Hang on. Eight, 14. <laughs> yep, that's right, that's yeah, right. Six, yep. 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 <laughs> Stick to songwriting. <laughs> that's not your song, not your strong suit. No. Um, <laughs> what? It, tearing other people down makes me feel like a big man. We've discussed this. Man child. <laughs> makes me feel better about myself <laughs> and all my failings as a human being. Uh, you have some, as opposed to failings as a human being, you've got some talents. Which is lovely. I love that little break in your voice too, which I think is, is not something you get from being, uh, I don't know, that takes a bit of practice to, I don't know, be, be vulnerable like that. Um, it's admirable anyway, and I'm really, really keen to hear this original work now. So do you want to jump into that? Yeah. Cool. Before you do, is there any chance you can tell us a bit about the song first? Yeah, so I was um, going to tell you before I did it. So, um... For a day, um, I had um, some awesome kids with me um, with the help of Cab Templey giving us a few um, ideas and a few bit of assistance. Um, so it's a love song. Definitely a breakup. Um, basically saying um, how our ex basically controlled us, um, using us um, and all that. Um, so, yeah, I got help from... A uh, Benny Benes, he was um, uh, Benny Benes and Ollie Skinner. They were also participants in the Breakthrough Music Competition, um, and a uh, cool chick called uh, Clay. Um, so yeah, um, it was um, a good group, um, and we had a um, good time making it, and came up with this masterpiece. So fair enough. Fun. Fair enough. All right. All right. This is uh, Control. Just cherry wood smell like cherries I could two taste the salt from my tears From my tears And you won't need to call my number When you need or want something from me Something from me And if I learn how to fly 
From the case do you try to keep me inside And I finally realize I'm better off without you Out my life cause it's mine to live And not yours to control Stop calling me and let me be I don't need you and you don't need me need some space and you can learn your own control control does watermelon taste like water does it grow as fast as the guilt you feel I said the guilt you feel And I'm sick of you, you using me And I'm leaving you, so let me be I said let me be And I finally learned how to fly From the gate that you try to keep me That's that's brought up some stuff for me, I think. That's uh, really, really good. <laughs> that's kind of saying something. Again, that level of maturity, uh, you're able to speak to someone much older than you, and, and I'm relating to what you're writing. So you're writing something that's quite universal, which, you know what, uh, smart. Commercially, smart, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's a moneymaker right there. Okay. But I imagine... For you, it's a little bit more than just about a career of making money and being rich and famous. I don't know. Wh what do you get out of songwriting, playing, performing? It definitely helps with my, with my emotions. If I'm ever angry or I just feel, like, sad um, or just I've got this, like, thing in my head, you know, that's, you know, making me frustrated or whatever um, negative feeling mm -hmm. I'm inside of me at that time I always go straight to music I'll listen to it I'll play to it whatever I can be bothered to do because if I'm too upset or too angry I get and I get annoyed at my guitar sometimes because <laughs> I'll do the wrong chord and I'll just go and all that and um music's probably it's one of the best like um therapies you could say yeah you know? it's a friend isn't it yeah like um sometimes you know you don't want to talk, but you like 
But you need and to express somehow. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. when, you know, if you're either angry, upset, you just belt out, you know? Yeah. No, I mean, uh, as, a, <laughs> as a bona fide car belter, uh, I totally understand what you mean. There's nothing like it. It's, it's, it, it does a lot more than just words do. Mm. It, it can do so much more and communicate in a way that, again, just writing or talking to someone just doesn't cut it. You yeah. know what I mean? It, yeah. You need that level of emotion that you get from music. Um, and that's also, um, that's also a good thing about songwriting too. You know, if you, like people have diaries, you know. Yeah. I'll write it down and try and turn it into a song. Like um, I wrote a song um, on Tuesday because something I did dumb on Monday. So I had an <laughs> argument with my mother. Yep. Um, so I wrote a song on Tuesday, practiced it for Tuesday and Wednesday, performed it on Thursday as a surprise to her, as an apology song. I made her cry, which was, I think that was my plan. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Cry now. Time. Whoa. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> that's that's pretty cool, uh, and very sweet. That's such a touching thing. Do you? Is this now you're out when you say forget someone's birthday and just like, oh, I'll write them a song. You know so what I mean? Like song? you've always got gifts on the go. That's it. It Cost you nothing. Well, a bit of bit of time and maybe yeah, emotional a input, like but back up, like okay. Aha. Mm, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> now this is for you. <laughs> How many songs have you dedicated to people? That's um, that song that I wrote to my mum. That's the only song that I really dedicated to someone. Um, the rest of it just for you. Well, yeah, they could be kind things of. that happen in my life, or they could be about someone. Um, but I've never really like you know wanted to like. That's the first song I've made it like to someone basically. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, you've got to wait until these special people come to your lives uh, for better or worse. I think there's nothing better than a good, hateful, <laughs> you know, um, breakup song, like full of spite and bile. <laughs> I love those. You know, I'm thinking of the old JT, Crimea River kind of mm. thing. You know what I mean? Are you aware of this? Actually, uh, just listening to that song, Control... Yeah. I got a bit of a Smashing Pumpkins vibe. Are you aware of those guys? Do you know? Was that an influence on you? I haven't really listened to them that much. Like I know them. I've probably heard a song or two, but I haven't really. Yeah, you I got a much really sweeter voice than Billy Corgan did, <laughs> but same kind of um, what would you like punk ballad aesthetic? Yeah, which is neat. I know. I recommend checking them out. But in that case, who would you say some of your top influences have been besides Eskimo Joe, of course? Ah. Oh. Um, yeah, they're number one, and they always yeah. will be, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, ooh. Um, yeah, that's a toughie. Just throwing you under the bus, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, I was expecting for this question, I was going to say Eskimo Joe, but we've already covered that. Um, maybe like Bob Evans. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, Powderfinger. Yeah, of course. I listen to a lot of Aussie artists. Isn't Powderfinger the Hey baby, I got you on my Yeah, mind. that is them. I yep, that's oh, them. That was at work. That was one of the songs that played on loop at work. <laughs> it drove me insane. I wanted to throw a PS5 at someone's head. That's a good song. Yeah, it, it was. It song. was the first 500 times. Have you heard the new <laughs> remix? Uh, I, can't believe, I can't remember who's done it. They've might even be Pinyao. I know. And they've made like this real um, up tempo disco version of Baby I've Got Your Mind. It's terrific. Go and find it. Um, so cover versions. Now, listeners of the show will know that I am an absolute sucker for cover versions. Mm. They're basically all the albums I buy. I have cover versions from wall to wall. It's so just a thing that I do. Uh, so they're no, not like all about mine. But I'm with you. Like Originals, they're good. But cover versions, some cover versions, you know, it's like a new... They just hit different. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do hit different, especially yep. you know with like the different voices. Like, um, yep. um, like um, I've heard like you know really rocked out songs turn into like a nice chill song, and it kind yes. of feels like a different kind of meaning. Exactly right. It can sort of tease out hidden meanings that you you hadn't thought of in those lyrics, and then you realize that it can mean both things, and you get a different perspective. And, and I think that's the magic of it. So, uh, what? Favorite covers then? Do you have any of those? I mean, 
most of my covers that I listen to, I always um, like version covers. Um, oh, yeah. Billie Eilish did one a few years back of her, um, Michael Jackson's Bad. Oh, yes. That was oh, really good. Inspired. Um, totally. She's amazing. The Wiggles Elephant. Stop joking. Well. Joking. Oh, <laughs> I yeah, mean, it was, it was okay, <laughs> but that was a joke. But, um, oh. No, there was actually a cover that um, it didn't really like hit different, but I really liked um, that it was very different genre. So, um, do you know the metal band Polaris? Yes, they do Triple J like a version of Eskimo Joe's Black Fingernails Red Wine. I missed that one somehow. Yeah, that would be awesome. It it was like it's different. Metal's not normally my most favorite sure. genre. Yep. Um, but it was good. You got to appreciate yeah. it though, right? Like I don't reach to listen for, to it, but if I do, if I do hear it, I'm like, "Wow, what are those guys doing to their voices? How fast are their fingers going up and down those frets?" Like it, it's quite I've amazing. Tried, you know, like when um, like metal singers they go, "Oh, yeah." I've tried to do it for front. I'm like, "How?" It's, yeah, but so it takes much years harder. of practice. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like but yeah, it does. I don't know, like, like a good regime of. I don't know what they drink or smoke or, or just like gargle with sand or, or <laughs> what do they do? I don't know. They I don't know. Though. They just got like sand like balls <laughs> in their throat that just make it go like all like, ah. Just down the beach, head down and the honk, honk, honk. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> um, last one you've got for us is a, another cover, in fact, of yours. Yep. Child yeah. Child behaviour. Cool. Childhood behaviour. Yep. By the Eskies. Eskies, yeah. Eskies. Awesome. Well... Get ready for that one. Are you ready to do that one? Or yep. <coughs> Alrighty. Yep. Awesome. I've been waking up angry. It's gotta stop. Or oh, this child hurt. Behavior. And I know it seems hard to be around like the sun who is going to save me. Like a blanket of smoke that is blown by the breeze. Like a morning snapshot of the people on their way to the beach. I know it seems hard to be around But I know it's gonna change when the baby comes out Headaches start when I try to stop But I try once again cause I love you a lot It's just childhood behavior I've been waking up early a lot Like the whole world's in danger if i stay up to late i look just like a tight stranger like a mouthful of smoke that is blown through those trees like a morning snapshot of the people with their face to the breeze I know it seems hard to be around But I know it's gonna change when the baby comes out Headaches start when I try to stop But I try once again cause I love you a lot It's just childhood behavior Like a mountain of smoke I will crumble to the sea like a soldier coming home I will fall to my knees And I know it seems hard to be around But I know it's gonna change when the baby comes out Headaches start when I try to stop But I try once again cause I love you a lot It's just childhood behavior Childhood behavior. Oh. That was 
so good. Oh, oh I belted that one out. You did. It was really it felt <laughs> emotional. Yeah, you can tell that you've done that before. Yeah. Uh, oh, probably oh. started in the bedroom, I imagine. I've only performed that once. That was uh, Thursday. Oh, right. I've only performed that live once. This is my second time performing it. Um, that's probably the best time I've ever done it, even practices at home. But I full on just like got into that zone where I'm like, got the word, but it was it was present. <laughs> Mate, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't I, know. I'm not going to put words in your mouth. Um, yeah, but I, I felt it, certainly. Oh, I forgot how much I liked that song, actually. It's great. I'm going to go home, have to dig out all the albums now and go through them and just start to finish discography. Black it's how I do. Man. I have OCD. Oh, <laughs> so I, I pick an artist man. and I just sort of like deep dive into them for a while. Uh, anyway. Uh, old behaviour. Sure. Uh, anyway, no, um, that was... That was lovely. So I'm, it I'm, was really I'm good, all Kev. shaken now. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Does that song have any, well, meaning to you? Sorry, I just couldn't get the words out. The first line, I've been waking up angry. I've woken up angry quite a few times. Monday. So the, um, the apology song that I was talking to you about, I woke up angry. Mm-hmm. I had an argument with my mother. Was it about absolutely nothing? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, you yeah, know. I love those. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I don't think I relate to the song. Well, I can imagine it would be like, hard to at the moment. Um, yeah. You should hope so. Really? <laughs> but it's a really nice song. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And you've got that uh, same lovely, you know, sort of magpie warble that Cav from Eskimo Joe does. <laughs> uh, you, you mimic that beautifully. Um, it's really, really cool. And you know who you remind me of, actually? I realised halfway through when you yeah, started belting is your voice reminds me of, don't take this wrong way, Linda Perry? Don't know who that is. Uh, the <laughs> singer from Four Non Blondes. Uh, you would know the song, um, uh, what's it called? Um, what's Going On? How's uh, it going? I said hey. Yeah. What's going yeah. on? Oh, right. Tra- yeah, and I said, hey, yeah, that one. I'm yes, yeah, I right. would that. love to hear you belt that out. That would be amazing. <laughs> karaoke or something. Yeah. Do you do karaoke? Karaoke? Oh, I'm so at good. At ca- would you? I'm so like, good at karaoke. <laughs> what's what's your go-to song for karaoke? Yeah. I honestly don't know. Like, um, I think you've always got to have one in the back pocket. I just it's it's a life. This is my little bit of wisdom that I'm imparting from me to you, from old to young. Uh, have a karaoke couple of song times, in back pocket. The last couple of times, so sometimes at home I'll forget about my guitar, get a backing track from YouTube, you know, karaoke, and I'll just belt it out. Last couple of times I've done it, um, either Foreign Land from Eskimo Joe. Oh, yeah. Or Radiohead's Creep. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that song is... Genius for so many reasons, right? I mostly play that on my guitar. But the the what what I love about that song is that it's so open to interpretation. Like you can do a lot as a singer with that song. I've heard so many versions of it, and they're all, you know, some of them are really true to the true to thing, and not, and others just uh, you know completely wipe it out. Mm. Uh, do you <coughs> do you follow the f- for me, like, do you follow closely to how they sing it, or do you interpret it differently? Um, you have a spin that you put on it yourself. Oh yeah, I definitely have a few spins on it. Um, like um, with the bridge section, um, with the she's running out the door. Yeah. Um, with that, um, I kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it. Um. No, we might just have to get you back in and, and hear it at some <laughs> yeah. point. That might be even better. We'll do it now. Well, really? Yeah. Unfortunately, we've only got five minutes left of the show. And it's like a 12-minute song. No, come on. Oh. It's not a 12-minute song. No, I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got five minutes left. Can we? Can we? Can we? Please? 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 Sure, we can do Yay. it as a closing show. We'll say our goodbyes and then it can be our closing song. Okay, all right. So we'll okay. do that then. Fair enough. Well, thank you everybody for joining us again Saturday morning on Keeping Up With Jack and Ali. Keeping Up With Ali and Jack. Ali and Jack. Like the Kardashians.
but so much better. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because awesome. if, if you guys were the Kardashians, I wouldn't be here. So. I'm so... I'm really? Chloe. No. <gasps> I'm Chloe, and that's Courtney. Not a Kardashian fan. Okay, anyway. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, that's a discussion for another time. Awesome. Thank you for having us, Calf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's his studio now. You're Thank just you giving him that. Thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're swapping. The guitar yep. for the studio. That's yep. that's the deal now. That's yep. on the table. Sorry, Tris. Your studio is now guitar. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to hear this. Thank you for joining us. You're an absolute star. Can't wait to see you on The Voice later in the year. Yeah. Or I get on, yeah. Well, of course you're going to get on. And of course you are. Rent. Jeez. Yeah. All right. Alrighty, creep. Take it away. When you were here before Couldn't look you in the eye You're just that good angel Your skin makes me cry You flew like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a I want a perfect body And I want a perfect soul And I want you to notice When I'm not around You're so very special I wish I was special But I'm a creep And I'm a widow What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here She's running out the door I don't belong here.